We're looking here at a very scarce 19th century set relating to uh, natural history. It's a periodical issued um, over a series of years, and what the publisher has done here is bound each uh, volume in a different colored cloth with large gilt pictorial stamped uh, devices at the base of each spine, uh, including um, a, a turtle and a frog and, and uh, fossils. And here we have a buffalo on the front cover of this volume, which is the first one. We see it was issued by the Essex Institute in Salem, Mass. They are still, they still exist today. Um, there's a wonderful museum there. And each volume is a series of monthly issues all bound as one and scattered throughout each volume and the set are various types of natural history related plates. Uh, many, if not most, uh, this is related to bees, uh, have their tissue guards as issued if there was a tissue guard. Um, and so we're going to take a very uh, brief stroll through the set to show the um, range of illustrations throughout. As you can see, uh, this volume has numerous of these plates, which are quite interesting. Uh, so that's the first volume. And then we get to the next year, which is 1869, volume 2. Um, and here again, a well illustrated, um, wide range, very wide range of articles uh, covering all manner of you know, just every sort of scientific subject matter of 19th century interest. Um, and so here's the third volume. They're all uh, clean, tight, and sound. This one is 1870. And here we're looking at shells and uh, skates, eggs, and the rare birds of Massachusetts, uh, freshwater shells, Rambles in Florida, article about sponges. These plates here are engraved and are lithium. Yeah, that's an engraved plate. Okay, now oh, there's another one of those. Yeah, there's an interesting, there's a deer. Oh, here we go. Dinosaurs of New Jersey. Okay, the fourth volume is great cover there. 1871. This is the Peabody Academy of Science published this one and we'll thumb through it to give you an idea of what's inside. And the next volume here is volume 5 and this has a bent title page 1871. So zoology, mechanisms of bird wings, the geology of the Appalachians, uh, zoology, f fossil plants, flowers, insects, uh, blackbirds, various sorts of rock paintings. Oh yes, interesting, look at this, rock paintings. Hmm. Brazilian rock inscriptions. I would imagine that a lot of these articles are probably written by prominent early um, uh, investigators and historians of these topics. Um, in each of these fields, these uh, authors are probably uh, quite likely and possibly well known today um, from a historical perspective. Uh, those look like lithographed plates. And we're at volume six here, 1872. There's at the front of each volume a list of all the contents. The pagination throughout the set is continuous. So we have a folding plate of some sort here, a table of objectives, their makers, and prices. I'm just curious, that said, you yeah, know, objectives, all right. Oh, this is an interesting, that's a mounted photographic plate uh, photographed by Dr. Woodward. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Here's another one of these uh, black and white lithographed uh, outline plates. Here's an engraved plate. Here's an engraved plate. 
and we get to the final volume of the set. Our research tells us that there are no other sets currently available online. <clears throat> so the set is scarce and this set is very well preserved. Just shows a little bit of wear at the spine ends and along the joints, but um, the cloth is clean, the gilt is bright, and it's currently available on my website, brianamambro.com.